Hi, welcome to this video, and in this video we're going to be looking at taking this child's head and shoulders and putting it inside a, a Christmas bauble. So just a, a Christmas theme that we're working on. Thanks to Richie Arrowsmith for providing the photos. Great photographer, good friend. So what we're going to do with this first of all is to make a selection. So we'll go to the layers. First thing we do is duplicate the layer, so we right click, duplicate the layer, click on OK. And then what we want to do is to go to select on the menu and subject, because I think this will probably do a reasonable job of selecting the image, which it has. So we've got the, most of that selected there. But what I want to try and do is get these wisps of air that are coming down here into the selection as well. So what we want to do with this is first of all to create a mask. So with the selection on there, we're on the second layer there, we just click on the mask tool, which puts on the mask, and then we right click on the mask, and we go to select a mask, and that will just allow us to edit the image. Now, when we look at this, the, the tool that we're going to be using will be the refine edge brush so that is the second tool down on the left hand side and we're looking at the the different views on here so if we look at the view on this I've selected overlay now red probably isn't the best color as the child's got blonde there it's like not a great color to be able to to select and uh, to work with so what we can do is change the color of the overlay so I'm going to click there and I'm going to select black and then we're going to take the opacity down just enough so I can see where these wisps, wisps of air are just below the ear there that's the bit that I really want to bring back in just neaten up the edge around the hat here probably okay so we've got the right tool we can resize the brush and you can do that with the parenthesis keys or the square bracket keys to the left of the enter key on the keyboard. So pressing those will allow you to change the size of the brush. And I'm going to get the, the brush just over. So it's just touching the ear there, but the spot of the brush is just outside in the selection. And then I'm going to go round and I'm going to draw over this hair. And just work this back into the selection. So that's the main part that I want. Just in that area there. Just go over that again. And then just round the hat here. Just this little bit. Oh, that's probably good enough. I'm just going to take the opacity up now and just check. That's looking okay. Let's just try and get a little bit more of that air. That's looking okay. We just got that little bit of a wisp there. So I'm going to click on OK. And if you go to our layers and we just hide this bottom layer. You can see what we've got there. Okay, so that has selected the face. Now I'm just going to zoom in on this. Just neaten this up a little bit. And the way to do that is if I make sure I'm on the mask, and we can just use a white brush. So I'm just going to get a white brush, make it smaller. And I'm just going to draw in these areas. So remember white will bring back areas and black will delete areas. So we can just neaten up this mask a little bit. Just come in this area. a little bit on the face there. 
okay and we've got a few bits there that I don't want so I'm just going to change that to black it's looking okay hold down the space bar and that will allow me to move over on the image So I'm losing a bit there, so again I want the white brush. Just bring this back in. Change the opacity of the brush up to 100. Yeah, it's looking okay. So the wisps of air I probably want to emphasize a little bit more. What I'm going to do to do that, I'm on white. I don't want to draw over that because it's going to draw in too much of the background, but I can strengthen this by changing the brush mode. So when it's on normal, I can change this to overlay, making sure it's on white and just take the opacity down of the brush around 30, 40% make a slightly bigger brush and if I just stroke over this I can just bring in and make that a little bit stronger so not too much just a little bit like that there we go so let's just brought that back in I think we're looking not looking too bad now I can just need these areas I've still got it on this mode and that means I can just go along the edges and swap from black and white. And using this layer mode, it will allow me not to eat too much into the selection, just neaten it up a little bit. So it's quite useful to use overlay just to do things like that it will give a stronger line and if you need to just smudge the line a little bit to stop it being so hard you can use any tool really I'm going to use the blur tool and remember I'm blue I'm all I'm doing I'm blurring the image I'm just blurring the mask I'm blurring this black and white area just to smoothen the edge of the selection Let's just put a little bit of a blur on there. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that now. So that's given us a good selection. Now I'm going to open another image. So I'm actually in Lightroom. If I go into Lightroom, I'm going to choose the background for this. And we'll, we'll put it on this image here. So I'm just going to develop that a little bit. Just bring the highlights down a little bit. Let's make it a bit brighter. A little bit of a green cast. That's better. So I'm just do the green cast off. Then I'm going to right click editing Photoshop. There we go. So now we've got the two images. Now if I go back, so I'll click on the tab for this one. And if I click on the move tool, put the move tool on the selection, hold it down and drag over to this tab at the top there. And I'm keeping the mouse down. I will let go, put the mouse over the image and let go. And there we've got image and I'm just resizing that now so I'm still on the move tool make sure you've got constraint uh, 
Now on the move tool you've got show transform controls on that and that will allow you to see these handles to resize it. And I'm going to place child's head on there. Okay, so I'm putting it there, press the enter key, that will just commit the transform, go to the layers. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to commit the, the actual mask. So if I click on the mask and right click on it, and I click on apply layer mask, what that does is it's like getting a pair of scissors and chopping off all the background there. We don't need that anymore. So we just want the actual image and the selection of the boy. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is now to add another mask. So I'm going to click on the mask. And that will allow me to get a black brush. And make sure we've got a soft brush, which we have. Make the brush larger, and I'm going to put this just outside the selection and just bring it in. I need to make sure that I change it back to normal. I'm on overlay at the moment. That's a, if you're ever using a brush and um, it's not doing anything, that's probably why you've used overlay. Let's just take this up to 100%. So I'm just coming outside of the area and coming into it slowly so we just get a bit more of a round shape around the bottom of this just eating in a little bit into the selection there we go now you could leave it like that it looks fine but what I'm going to do with this is I can apply this mask as well so I'm going to right click on that and apply the mask don't need it anymore with use it to get rid of that um, hard edge I can duplicate this now so if I right click and duplicate the layer and I'm going to hide the layer below so I'm going to click on the eye there making sure I'm still on the top layer and I'm going to change this mode so the mode is on normal i'm going to change it to let's just have a look these different modes i'm actually going to use lighten okay now what i'm going to do is to bring back the layer underneath i'm going to click on the layer below which isn't being shown yet and click back on the eye now it's understanding what i'm doing here because this is on normal the one above is on lighten. Now, the effect of the light, we'll just hide that again. It's okay, it's given that effect that it's sort of within the ball or you know, you see the light coming through. But the trouble is with it, it's too overpowering, it's over the eyes and whatever. So by having this layer underneath that's still on normal, I can change the opacity of this layer below and that will just allow me to mix the two together and get the effect that I want. So it looks much more natural like that, much more smooth, and we got this slight translucent effect. Okay, so that is basically it. Just to complete that now, we can go to layer, flatten the image, and we have the completed child in the Christmas bauble, which looks quite nice, I think.